So you're going to want to go to canva.com and select blog graphic. Then scroll on down until you see one that you like. I like this one with the picture. You know what? I don't like the background, so I'm going to change the color to pink. Then I'm going to drag my photo where the photo is. All right, now it's time to get to the media kit. First, I'm going to start off with my name and a quick one-liner about what I do, which is founder of livingfornaptime.com. Next up is a summary. You're going to want to put a few sentences about who you are and what you do. For example, I'm going to say I'm a blogging entrepreneur who has sold four websites in the last 10 years and now I help other moms. Next up, you're going to want to highlight your most impressive stats. For example, I have 850 followers on Facebook, so I'm going to use that as one of my top stats that people see when they come to my media kit. I'm going to add a Facebook icon and then enter the amount of Facebook fans that I have. I'm going to change the text to black and make it bigger, just so it stands out more. Okay, the other impressive stat I have is Instagram. I have over 3,000 followers on Instagram, so I want to put that right up at the top, right next to my Facebook stats. I'm going to insert the Instagram icon and then enter the amount of followers I have in the same format that I did with the Facebook numbers. The nice thing about Canva is that they've got all sorts of icons. So if you wanted to highlight YouTube or a different social network or you have a completely different impressive stat, you could find an icon for it using Canva. All right, next up, I'm going to talk about my demographic, right? So we want to highlight who our readers are. So I'm going to use this little fun people icon to, talk, to do that, to represent who my readers are. I'm going to change the color so that it matches the rest of my icons. Make it a bit smaller. Okay, perfect. Okay, now I'm going to describe what my reader, who my readers are. I'm going to say that they are a highly engaged audience of new and pregnant moms. This gives advertisers an exact view at who they will be targeting if they decide to work with you or sponsor you. I'm going to make the words a little bigger. and move them right into place. Perfect. So I actually like this little newspaper icon here. I'm just going to change the color so that it matches the rest of my icons to white and black. Then I'm going to drag it over to the side because I'm just doing a little mixy matchy here. And I'm going to use this opportunity to talk about the places that I've been published at and the blogs that I've guest posted on. So if you've guest posted on a friend's blog or been published in Huffington Post or Babbel, this is a great area to do that. So the advertisers know that, hey, guess what? Uh, my writing is good enough that I've actually been published elsewhere besides my own blog. Okay, now I want to look for a little cute icon here and I'm gonna choose a light bulb and then reduce its size and change it color um, to match with the rest of my icons. And I'm going to use this space to describe the ways in which I want to work with advertisers. So let me just change the color here from black and white. Okay, then in the text, I'm going to write the ways that I want to work with them. So that can be giveaways, sponsored chips, um, sponsored posts. We could do banner ads. I'll put all of the ways that I work with them in this area. I'm going to make my text a little bigger again, and boom. Okay, now in this next section, once again, going to change the icon to black so that it matches the others. I'm going to use this area to list my contact information, my email address, and then also let them know that if they're interested to contact me for my fee schedule. So that way I don't put prices on the media kit. If they're interested, they'll need to email me for the prices. And let me uh, just change the background here. This just says follow me. I think there were some icons there, but when I changed the color of the background, they kind of disappeared. Let me put the uh, icons back. And you can choose to have those icons of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or not. But there you have it.
the media kit is completely done and it was for free and uh, now you just download it to your computer and now you have a media kit to include in your pitch emails.